In this video, a Tesla bull bangs a drum on Tesla stock, reiterating a $550 price target in the next 6 to 12 months, while most of the other so-called experts continue to panic and follow the herd. Not since 2019 has there been such a disconnect between perception and reality. Plus, new data showing Tesla still has absolutely no competition and is embarrassing the entire automotive industry. And just a quick heads up, I move one step closer to cancellation today after dropping my latest Patreon exclusive video. I guarantee you do not want to miss this one. And uh, trick alert. If you're not already a member, you can join Patreon with the card in the corner or the link in the pinned comment. Here's a sneak peek. In recent videos, you refer to the pandemic response as the scamdemic. What part of the pandemic response was a scam? Also, in an interview with Dave Lee, you said Dave Lee's eyes are open when discussing the same issue. What are your suggestions to someone trying to understand the world in a similar way and learn the truth? Okay, go on, watch it. I dare ya. So what are we looking at here? Tesla stock year to date down 45.68%. And I wanna highlight the 52 week high and the 52 week low. The 52 week high for Tesla stock, $414.50. The 52 week low, now less than half that amount, $206.86. And Tesla stock today closing at $217.24. Spitting distance from its 52 week low, just saying. And maybe some context might matter over that same period of time. With Tesla stock now close to 52 week lows, what's happened to Tesla's earnings trailing 12 months over the last year? From one billy to two billy to over three billy. A tripling, one more time, a tripling in earnings per share over the trailing 12 months. Yet, over that same period of time, after peaking over $400 per share, Tesla tumbling and tumbling and tumbling and tumbling because of factors nothing the f to do with Tesla. Just want to once again emphasize this because every time there's always people in the comments a few months after Tesla, Tesla, man, what you about No excuses. I mean, I've repeated myself like 400 times in the last few months. Doing my best here, folks. And it ain't just me that thinks this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But before we get to that, there's this new data once again showing Tesla in a truly dominant position running circles around the so-called competition. Quote, Tesla Model Y becomes best-selling car in Germany. I'm just going to repeat that to make sure everybody heard it. Tesla Model Y becomes a best-selling car, not electric, car in Germany. You guys may or may not be aware, but Tesla is currently beginning to ramp up production of a German facility. It's still ramping, currently producing a pathetically low number of vehicles per week. This is to be expected. The point that I'm getting at is they haven't actually begun major local production in Germany yet. And Model Y is already the best-selling vehicle in Germany before they ramp up their jive fucking gigantic factory in Germany, producing nothing but Model Ys initially. And they're already the best-selling vehicle in Germany. Do you guys get that point? I know I repeat myself a few times. That's kind of the point. Hello. Do you have any idea what is going to happen in the next 12, 24, 36 plus months? <laughs> Seriously. From Morgan Stanley, quote, The German best-selling model was a position long dominated by the VW Golf. This change in consumer preference marks a watershed both for Tesla and battery electric vehicles in general. That's right. Tesla has dethroned a German automotive manufacturer in Germany for the position of the number one selling vehicle. Okay, this isn't the best selling SUV. This isn't the best selling electric vehicle. This is the best selling vehicle in Germany. Let's read on. Electric vehicle maker Tesla continues to be the best selling battery electric vehicle in Germany after reporting September numbers showing that the company sold almost 14,000 units in the country over a 6% market share. While Tesla has long been the best selling battery electric vehicle in Germany, in September it was the best selling car, considering all powertrains, overtaking local best selling models from legacy German OEMs. Super embarrassing. Beating the German automakers in Germany before you've ramped up your German factory. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that is kind of embarrassing. The impressive month was driven by sales of Tesla's Model Y and Model 3, which sold over 9,000 and 3,500 units respectively. Having sold almost 40,000 units year to date in Germany, reports suggest that the EV manufacturer is aiming for 80,000 unit sales in the country by the end of 2022. At the September run rate, with Berlin production rising, Morgan Stanley believes Tesla could still hit its 2022 German sales targets. Let's read the full quote from Morgan Stanley. The German best-selling model was a position long dominated by the VW Golf. This change in consumer preference marks a watershed for both Tesla and for battery electric vehicles in general. Tesla was also the best seller within two different categories. In midsize, the previous best seller was consistently the VW Passat, or however the f*** you pronounce that. Now the Model 3. What was that about Tesla producing one category killer per category? In SUVs, the VW T-Roc has been displaced by the Model Y. Germany is the largest battery electric vehicle market in Europe, 
Morgan Stanley's EV model data shows the top selling EV models in Europe as of July were the Tesla Model Y, the Tesla Model 3, notice number one and two, with their number one and two products, the first mass production vehicles, same platform, Model 3 and Y, category killers, one category killer per killer, currently killing the categories there meant to kill. Then the Fiat 500, VW ID4, blah, f***ing blah, who cares? The point, Tesla already dominating in Germany and they've barely begun to ramp up local production of the Model Y. Once again, proof that the competition is currently coming all over itself instead of for Tesla. Steven, you're cherry picking. What about everywhere else on the planet? You just cherry pick Europe because it looks good for Tesla. You're right, you caught me, busted, red-handed. I just did cherry pick, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just trying to deceive and mislead with a single data point. I'm just working from the GLJ playbook. I mean, as we know, it's a fact that demand has completely collapsed in China and Tesla sales are done, they're toast. I can't believe they even built a factory in China in the first place. Tesla stock's definitely heading to $140 per share. You heard it here second, folks. Here's proof. Model Y in China, number, what? Uh, number one in September in the SUV segment. I thought I heard from a genius that uh, there was no demand. Uh, I'm, I'm confused right now. This must be fake news, right? Seems to be suggesting that the Model Y was the best-selling vehicle in the months of September. Seems to have cumulative sales of almost 220,000 units, year-over-year -year growth of 135% last year this time, not even 100,000 units sold. Um, I'm a little bit confused. It almost appears that Tesla's Model Y is the best-selling SUV in China in September. Not only that, but it almost appears as if, looking at number two here, which last year had sold actually more cumulative units than Tesla's Model Y, a year later has barely seen any growth. 17.4% year-over-year growth in sales versus Tesla, more than doubling. I thought, isn't there no demand in China? I just... I thought that the sales, were, there was no demand because the wait times were short for a very small period of time and that's the only possible explanation that there was no demand. World's biggest automotive market, China. Number one SUV. SUV is the most popular vehicle category. And it's not the most popular electric SUV, it's the most popular SUV in China, the world's largest and most important and most mature vehicle market. And then Germany, number one vehicle period in every category before they've ramped up local production and then tesla model 3 also the number one uh, uh i'm a little bit uh uh can someone explain what this means because i thought that the competition was coming and that there, there was no demand for tesla anywhere just um a little bit confused these numbers seem to be painting a contrary picture hmm I'm sure it's nothing. So I just couldn't believe that data. So, I mean, after all, all the experts, all the geniuses are saying there's no demand in China. So I decided to do a quick fact check and I'm glad I did because it turns out that number was wrong. See, as we read the headline here, Tesla Model Y was, oh, it says was. I thought it says wasn't. Was China's best-selling car in September. F this is really awkward, guys. Um, I don't know what to think anymore. I'm so lost. All the experts were telling me there was no demand and I just, I don't know what to do. Should I sell all my Tesla stock? Let me know in the comments below. Don't worry guys, the thesis hasn't completely crumbled. There's still some proof that Tesla demand is collapsing, that the competition has come all over Tesla instead of themselves, and the proof is right here. US EV market share. Through Q3 2022, as we can see, Tesla at the bottom of the po- oh, not a fucking again. It appears that Tesla in the US, in the first three quarters of 2022, captured a 67.4% share of the entire EV market. Second place, a little over 8%. So, let me just go through this. So Germany, biggest automotive market in Europe, number one selling, okay. And then China, number one selling SUV, the most important automotive market in the world. And then the United States, complete and utter domination. I just, for some strange reason, I thought the competition was coming and demand was collapsing and wait times were falling off a cliff and therefore Tesla stocked $140 per share. Hmm, so strange. Now, if anyone watching happens to feel that they're noticing some low-key, relentless roasting, they're right. It's never anything personal, but say dumb shit, get roasted. That's how I roll. And now, somebody whose brain appears to A, be working, and B, saying things that actually seem to make some sense. Gary Black. Quote, despite short-term headwinds, I am maintaining my Tesla stock price target over the next 6 to 12 months at $550 per share, about a 2.5x from where we are today at almost $200 per share. With no change in 2026 volumes and EPS, and 2023 first quarter volumes potentially explosive. My $550 price target is based on 2026 earnings per share of $20.80, a 40 times PE, discounted at 13.6%. Let's have a look at some of Gary's estimates. Let's zoom in on these bad boys. Some key markers here. Gary Black estimating Tesla deliveries for the full year, 1.34 million, actually fairly low. 
maybe not relative to the Wall Street estimates, but relative to many Tesla bulls. I'll be surprised if they're anything under 1.4 mil. I think Gary's probably going to be off by about 100,000 units, but it's really hard to predict with Austin and Berlin still ramping up. Still, I'll stick with that prediction. If you guys want to see all of my production estimates for the full year, the bear case, the base case, the bull case, and the hyper bull case, it's available exclusively in my Tesla valuation model, which is available on Patreon to investor supporters and above. Click the card in the corner or the link in the pinned comment to join. Continuing with delivery estimates, following 23, we've got 3.84 million in 24. 4.95 million in 25, 6.12 million in 26, and a mere 10.8 million in 2030. About half Tesla's own publicly stated goal. And I have to say, up until around 2026, I think Gary Black is pretty close to the mark. These estimates quite similar to my own base case, not bearable, but base case for Tesla. However, I think Gary is massively, and I mean massively underestimating how quickly things will ramp from middle of the decade till the end. Let's check back in about eight years and find out what happened. If you guys want to nerd it out, you can pause the video and see everything. I'll zoom out for a sec as well. All the details are in here. This is what is producing Gary Black's $550 per share price target for Tesla stock in the next six to 12 months. Another tweet from Gary Black, quote, we seem to be getting closer to where all the bad news is priced into Tesla stock. Twitter deal is about to close, overhang lifts, more realistic Q4 delivery estimates, buyback on the table, lowest forward PE since the plague. Counterpoint, no sign yet, <laughs> keyword yet, of a Fed pivot. These fucking idiots. It will come. The pivot will come. It'll be violent, complete, absolute 180. Oops. It's coming. Don't know when, but it is coming. And this is an important point. Until the Fed massively and immediately reverses course, many investors I personally think will be scared away from growth stocks, Tesla being the greatest example of that. But just you watch. When the Fed flips, let's pay attention to what happens to growth stocks, in particular Tesla. Just want to highlight on this shot from the Bloomberg terminal what we're looking at here, the yellow. This is the P-E ratio for Tesla. Currently, close to its lowest levels since the height of the panic in the plague and then the absolute period of insanity in 2019. When Tesla was available with a market cap around 35 billion with a B billion dollars, it's now like 20X that level. We're in the same territory, spitting distance of the P-E ratio back in 2019 before Tesla went and did a 10X and then some and then went even higher. As I said, seems to me like Tesla stock appears to be rather spring-loaded. A lot of factors that have nothing to do with Tesla's execution, competitive advantage, the countless moats, their unassailable lead, I could keep going on and on and on. None of the factors currently pummeling Tesla stock, in my opinion, have anything to do with the company. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say Gary didn't warn you. Another tweet from Gary. Retweeting from last week. I'm getting many questions why we bought more Tesla last week when I believe PMs will wait until one, the Twitter deal is funded and overhang lifts. And two, the Q3 earnings call on which China volumes, $7,500 US EV credit and smoothing of delivery wave are addressed. Short answer, we're long-term investors as opposed to short-term gamblers and don't try to adjust for short-term noise. Those three words perfectly sum up what's going on with Tesla stock the last few months, in my opinion. If we were running a hedge fund, we would be trading around our Tesla position, but global EV adoption is surging and Tesla is well positioned to hold EV share, increase automotive gross margin, and for free cash flow to soar. Let's check out these estimates. Tesla free cash flow, non-gap net income along the top. If we look at the cumulative non-gap net income, 22 to 26, about a quarter of a trillion dollars. Even backing out the CapEx and other operating expenses, cumulative free cash flow from 22 to 26 of $171.9 billion. A literal money printing machine. In conclusion, Gary Black's an idiot. $550 per share for Tesla the next six to 12 months. You gotta be high, bro. As we've heard, there's no demand, sales are collapsing, and Tesla is headed towards $140 per share. The fake news about Tesla already having the number one vehicle in Germany. I mean, it was a lie. It's just, it's fake, it's misinformation, it's fake news. Fact check, not true. And of course, the news out of China, I mean, that was also not true. It's just, it's fake news. These numbers are made up. That's the only possible explanation. Therefore, the only possible logical step would be panic sell all your Tesla stock, hold cash, and wait to buy back at a much cheaper price. By the way, guys, just in case you, I don't know, have got some things and you can't understand sarcasm, that was not investment advice. Just to be clear, it's entirely possible that panic selling your Tesla stock near all-time lows over the last 12 months and buying back at half the all-time low price may actually work out for you. Free to do whatever you want. Just sharing my thoughts and perspective and, you know, some fake news and some fake numbers that we can't look into because they don't give us any indication at all about Tesla's underlying demand or their complete and utter dominance of the categories in which they currently have a category-killing product. And if you disagree with me, you are just a toxic Tesla 
Fanboy. And if you thought Gary Black's price targets for Tesla stock over the next 6 to 12 months, a $550 price target was absurdly bullish, unrealistic, and never going to happen, you definitely don't want to look at my price targets available exclusively on Patreon, which kind of make Gary's look like a joke. Oh, and speaking of Patreon, I've got to get out of here and start reading some of the furious, enraged comments from people with pitchforks calling for my cancellation after my latest extremely juicy ultra controversial video. If you're easily offended, please do not watch the latest video I've posted on Patreon. No, really, you're gonna get mad. So please don't sign up to Patreon with the card in the corner or the link in the pin comment. You're just gonna get triggered. I won't see you over there. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem and I haven't been canceled yet.